welcome back we'll be covering in this tutorial layer and hatch command so let's see so I have created this one drawing in this drawing you can see colors are, are there and different lines line types are also applied center line hidden line is also applied so you can do this by using the layer layers command so we will see how to create these layers so let's start new drawing to create layer here is the layer properties command is there so command is layer shortcut is la you can give la enter from keyboard to activate this command just click on layer so it is showing me the layer properties you can drag it at a convenient position here is the color line type line weight so to create a new layer you have to click here new layer you can also use alter plus n as a shortcut new layer then give the meaningful name to the layer suppose I I say continuous so I will give continuous then by clicking on this choose the color what color you want for that layer then line type for continuous layer I will keep the continuous as line type so I will not change that line width you can choose the desired line width suppose I want 0.3 then click on ok again click on new layer next is suppose hidden layer then give the desired color what you want click ok then line type I don't want continuous so I will click on continuous now hidden is not available here so you have to load click inside this box and press H on keyboard so that hidden will be available so click on hidden say ok select the hidden and say ok so in this way for hidden layer hidden line type is selected then I don't want any line width so I will click here and I will choose default then again new layer suppose I want new layer to be center then choose the color ok then line type so I want center line so again load click inside and press C C on the keyboard so center will be available ok click on center ok so in this way three layer has been created so just close this dialog box from here and come out now I want to create a center line so just from this choose center as your current layer then draw line using line command press enter again press enter to repeat the command drag the point again I want to create a circle so I will say circle center point give the desired radius again now I want to create a continuous line so I will choose continuous as my current layer then again circle center point radius again enter center point radius then I want to create a hidden object so I will say hidden and I will create circle again circle center point radius so I want to repeat it so I will say polar array select object enter center point close array so in this way I have created one drawing on different layers if I want to change the gap between the center line or the hidden line then I have to give LTS command so you can directly type from keyboard LTS command name is name is LT scale press enter so LTS is the shortcut and then he asked me to specify new line type scale factor if you increase the scale factor gap will increase suppose I say 5 so gap will increase you can repeat the command by pressing the enter if I reduce the gap if I reduce the scale factor gap will reduce suppose I say 2 I say 1 I am just enter pressing enter 
and giving the scale factor so in this way you can control the gap between hidden line or center line then what your thickness we have chosen to view that thickness you have to click here show hide line width click on that button so it will show you the thickness if you don't want to view it again click on that button so it will make it off so in this way you can make it on and off from this button then if you want to change the layer of some drawn object then you there is one method is match properties is there so click on match property then select the source object the object suppose I want to make this circle center so my source object will be the center center line then click on the destination object to which you want to make it center and press enter to come out so in this way you can match the properties of two objects so layer will be the same then one more method is select the object of which you want to change the layer and click on uh, click here and select the name of the layer that you want to apply and press escape on keyboard to come out so in this way also you can create the layer then you can make the layer on off by clicking on this button turn a layer on or off if you click here turn ok if you change the current layer it will give the message whether you want to turn it on or off then if I say yes turn the current layer off so it will off the current layer but what is the problem of creating the current layer off that if you create anything on that current off layer nothing will be visible so it is always you have to take care that you don't turn off the current layer so if I turn it on back so it will show me the what is created therefore it is giving error, error so always take care that you don't change the current layer don't make off the current layer so I will just make the center as a current layer then I can off the hidden layer so in this way you can off it or you can make it on by again click on that button so in this way you can make the layer on and off again you can also freeze or thaw the layer so in that way also it will make it on and off but the difference between on and off and freeze and thaw is that ki if you freeze it will not be considered in the re regeneration when it when your size uh, drawing is very of very big size and too many objects are there at that time if you want to turn it off you should use this freeze so your speed of your drawing will not will be faster in fact if you freeze the object then if you turn it off then you can lock the object if you lo lock the layer so modify command will not work on the those object which has been lo on lock layer if I try to erase the object and select all the objects and press enter so the object on the lock layer will not be erased so I will just undo it so in this way you can by clicking on this button you can lock or unlock the object so in this way we have completed the layer command then next we want to cover is hatch command so here is the hatch command click on that then from here you have to choose the pattern which pattern you want so number of patterns they have given suppose I want NC31 then click inside the object inside the shape where you want the hatch now it is showing a gap here because we are creating a hatch on center layer so we will just close the hatch creation we will undo it and we will change the layer to continuous so it will show the hatch properly so again hatch then hatch pattern is NC31 click inside the ob object where inside the shape where you want to create the hatch then if you want to increase the gap between two lines then you have to increase scale here as scale pattern if you increase the scale the gap will, uh, gap will increase if you reduce the scale gap will reduce S same way you can change angle from here so this inclined angle is considered as a zero here 
so if you want to create a opposite line to this that means here you will have to give the 90 degree to create the opposite lines so in this way you can adjust the scale and angle as per your requirement once everything is done you have to close the hatch creation so your hatch will be created if you want to make any changes to the created hatch then click on that so this dialog box will come back again so here from here you can change the pattern you can change the angle suppose I again I want 0 will be same in this case suppose I want to make it vertical then I have to give here 45 degree then from here you can change the scale and again click on close as creation to apply the hatch so in this way you can create the hatch if you want to create a hatch of single color if you want to fill a single color then again take the hatch command click on the solid and click where you want that color and you can change the color from here what color you want so close hatch creation so in this way you can create a hatch of single color and if you want to give effect of two color mixing then you have to choose the gradient from here say gradient then click the area where you want to create the gradient then you can ch change the colors if you want to change it from here you can change the pattern from here so one point was remained so in this way you can give the different effects and to come out click on close hatch creation so in this way hatch is created so you can uh, bring front or send it back also if you want this hatch not to be visible so I will just escape to come out suppose I want only this hatch to be visible so I will bring it to the front so from modify you can say here bring to front and click on that hatch and press enter so it will come on the front of all the object or you can also send it back by clicking on the uh, send to back and click on the hatch and enter so in this way it is gone very behind all the objects so in this way you can create hatch so, so that's all we will stop here thanks for joining